Hello, it's Marion Stewart and today I'm focusing on menopause and I've been asked so many times in the last few weeks how long do these symptoms last for and so I wanted to address that because so many women seem to be completely desperate when they're going through this life stage. They're just not armed with information that's going to see them through a smooth transition and many of them don't even realize it's a transition, they think it's the beginning of the end so they don't really know how to deal with what's going on in their lives. This new scenario that's overtaken them suddenly called menopause or even perimenopause, which catches a lot of women in their 40s completely unaware because they don't realize that that's what's going to happen to them. Maybe they had PMS for a while and suddenly it seems to be getting a whole lot worse, lasting for longer. Plus they're starting to notice that they get hot sweats during the day and at night. And maybe they're feeling achy, moody, and just not sure what's going on in their body. But nevertheless, when you get to this life stage, you can, if you're armed with sufficient knowledge, you can get through and you can eradicate your symptoms in the space of months. Otherwise, the research shows that the symptoms can go on for years. And in fact, I had someone who approached me last week and said that she's had symptoms for over 14 years. She's now in her 70s and she's still suffering with symptoms. And if you really come to understand the underlying cause of what's going on when you go through the menopause, you'll know that it's not sim a simply a matter of taking a magic pill and the symptoms disappearing and then you're okay. Because very often we find women going through the menopause have got low levels of important nutrients. They collected those along the way during their childbearing years. Maybe they had a baby or two, did some breastfeeding, maybe they were dieters or they were stressed, they didn't eat properly. And all in all, by the time they get to midlife, nutrient levels are sinking anyway. And so the, the levels are far too low to be sustainable. And it means the brain chemistry and the hormones can't function normally. And so you expect to go through a smooth transition, but it isn't likely to happen any more than it is if you took your car up the motorway and hadn't had a service for ages or put any oil or gas in it. So it's really important. You've got to know how to look after yourself, how to refuel at midlife so that you can get back into the driving seat and feel really well again. And that's what I specialize in. I've been doing that for over 25 years and every single week, I hear from women who are back feeling better than they can remember, they've overcome their symptoms, no matter how severe, whether they were feeling suicidal before, whether they had such severe vaginal dryness that they couldn't have a relationship with their partner, whether they were anxious, waking up in the morning feeling really anxious and weird, having panic attacks, no matter what the symptoms, no matter how much they were melting by day and by night, you can control those symptoms and feel normal again. And not just normal, you can feel better than you have for in living memory, really. So the question, how long do the symptoms last, really is, the answer to that question is, as long as it takes you to learn how to meet your body's needs, as long as it takes you to find the right solutions for you. Now, the internet makes it very complicated because we go out there searching on what I call Dr. Google, and we try and find information, but it can be so confusing because there's so much conflicting information out there. So massively different information. Perhaps some people have got a vested interest because they want you to buy their product, but actually a lot of the products out there aren't scientifically based. They haven't been through any trials. And not only that, the research shows that they often don't contain what, contain what they say on the label. So that's really scary. And I've got a lot of first-hand experience with that. You can't necessarily trust the label. You've got to know that whatever you're taking in terms of supplements have been through clinical trials. They've not only been shown to be effective, but also safe in your body. And as well as sorting out your symptoms at the time of the menopause, when we no longer are armed with estrogen in our body naturally, we then are more vulnerable after the menopause. We're more vulnerable to things like the bone thinning disease, osteoporosis, and to heart disease and to dementia. But if you learn how to meet your needs at menopause, not only getting your nutrients back into an optimum range, but also getting your hormones back into sync so that they're functioning, 
you can fool the brain into thinking that you've got normal circulating estrogen again because mother nature gives us lots of amazing foods that contain naturally occurring estrogen which are so similar structurally to estrogen and the brain thinks you've got normal circulating estrogen and it's a bit like turning back your biological clock. Not only do you feel better, but you look better. The research also shows by consuming soy and some supplements that you can actually reduce the depths of wrinkles in your skin and your hair and your nails and your skin will glow again if they're looking dull. And you look in the mirror and think you've been possessed by an alien because you really don't recognize what's going on. Maybe you've got fat around the middle and you're just losing it. But you don't have to feel like that. You can feel better. There are lots of options. There are good self-help strategies. I've written half a dozen books on menopause and my latest one you can get via my website or in my Facebook group, Natural Menopause, Making the Midlife Switch. I've also got lots of masterclasses I run every couple of weeks where I'm inviting women to come and listen to um, find out what's going on in your body and how you can correct that. And I answer questions live. So the next one is coming up on the 31st of August. So you're welcome to come and join me for that and get your questions answered. I've also just launched a six week boot camp, and I'm taking a whole group of women through their paces and we're cruising through the menopause so that they understand exactly what they need to do, just like my patients do. Because over 25 years, I've literally helped tens of thousands of patients all over the world to overcome their symptoms and over 90% of the women are symptom free within five months and you can be too. So you don't need to go on suffering. You don't even have to have a one-to-one -one cons consultation if you don't want one, although that is available too, but you do need to find out how to get proper help. Don't waste money, don't waste your time, don't keep guessing, don't expect Google's gonna give you all the right answers come and find out how to meet your needs and get yourself back into the driving seat. There's so little help for women through their doctor's surgeries because although everything I do is based on published medical research, most doctors and practice nurses are not learning about that material. It's, it's all out there and published, but it's just not being used. So the chances are you're just gonna get information about hormone replacement therapy or antidepressants or some other drugs to control your symptoms and while some women do choose to take HRT and that's up to you if you do my experience is it isn't necessary and also the consensus of opinion from the medical profession is that you can't take it for more than five years at the most and really you shouldn't take it unless you've got very severe symptoms and I even find severe symptoms go when we do the natural thing. So you don't need to take it, but if you do take it, let's say the average age of going through menopause is 51. By the time you get to 56, you're gonna be looking for an alternative anyway that's gonna keep your symptoms under control and also keep you in the driving seat in the long term so that you can prevent osteoporosis, you can create new bone cells, you can protect your heart, you can protect your memory, and you can really feel well as you move into that next chapter of your life so you can embrace life and really enjoy yourself, enjoy your relationships and enjoy being you. That's really important. I think that's the right of every single woman and I'm absolutely passionate about making sure that women have adequate knowledge and I'm going to be campaigning until that happens. So do come and join me one way or another. Either join the campaign, come and get some help and come and celebrate the fact that you're wise and that you're in good shape and it's not that far away. So thanks for listening to me and I really look forward to helping you in some way going forward.